piano, that's the forbidden riff. However, it was made forbidden before I even had a chance to learn it. The point is, how good is this reverb? Hey, hey, hope you're all doing well. So I have done a video on the black hole reverb before. If you'd like to check that out, it's here. It's a very old video, but all of the pedal things are there and it all is still relevant. So today, instead of using the pedal, I'm actually using the plug-in version in my DAW. All of the parameters are still there and it's the same algorithm, so it's the same effect. For me, this effect really thrives when it's used in stereo. It still sounds good in mono when you're playing just through an amp. However, it definitely has so much more character when you can get it wide and you can fill up all of the space. So let's have a listen to it dry. I did have a bit of delay on that as well. Turn that off, turn the chorus off. So this is just the dry guitar. I'm using my Axe effects, and at the moment the clean tone is the Dirty Shirley. So this is quite literally just the default preset on the black hole. I just dropped the mix back by 10, so it's at 40. This is the middle pickup on my Gibson, so this is the bridge. And the neck. Sick. I used this black hole reverb, I used the pedal on all of my clean tones on my EP. I wish I did realize at the time that you could get the plug-in version, but the pedal still sounds so good and I just tweaked and I made a decision. So in the end, it was kind of handy just to make a decision and walk away. I like to tweak things and I definitely second guess myself all the time. So sometimes it's good just to go through some pedals and get your sound and get it done. But if you're a tweaker, the black hole is definitely worth getting the plug-in version. And it's cheap, man. It's Okay, so it's not as cheap as I thought it was, but I do remember that I got it on sale. And I'm sure I paid like 50 bucks for it. So even Tide, like every good company, does sales all the time. Check stuff out and get it cheap. If you produce anything, get this pedal. Well, get this plug-in. My leg's going dead, so I need to sit differently. The pedal is a little bit more expensive. Uh, at the time, I didn't think I needed a HD and I didn't want all the extras because I use modelers and I have other things already. So the black hole sort of filled a void or filled a hole. No, yeah, no. But <laughs> I really, really love this pedal. I think it's fantastic. It's one of my favorite reverbs. Anyway, as I was saying, I used it on my clean tones on my album. And this is just a couple of riffs for you. So this is literally just the default preset. Now let's give it a bit of a tweak just to hear what's going on. Um, we'll make it a bit darker, bring the low up. Gravity, bigger, size, smaller. Uh, mix down a little, a little bit of modulation and a bit more feedback. So it's pretty, pretty incredible. So the coolest thing about this is this gravity function. So if I now crank the reverb a little bit, turn it all the way up. Now, oddly, I'm pretty sure gravity up means less gravity, because, and you'll hear what I mean in a sec. So if I crank it, it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Whereas if I bring it this way now, this weird funky thing happens.
So from my understanding, it's kind of going back in on itself. And that hand movement was the exact example of what's going on. Almost like a pre-delay. So, But if we add pre-delay... It takes a bit longer to come in. So it's not pre-delay, but it kind of acts like it a little bit. Modulation's pretty crazy on this as well, but it sounds wonderful. We'll get straight up the middle. So that's probably too much, of course, there for that feedback. It's incredible, but it can be infinite. It quite clearly says there, infinite. So on the pedal, there is the freeze function as well. As you can see on the plug-in version, you've got the freeze option there. And essentially what it does is of course it freezes the reverb and then you can play over top. But obviously as you can hear, it doesn't add more reverb because the reverb is frozen. If you had some delay, that would sound pretty cool going through it. Now this doesn't only work on clean tones. It sounds amazing on lead guitar as well. So if you want some sick ambient lead lines, go this bad boy. Bring the lows and the highs down a little, add a smidge of pre-delay, size up, less modulation. Now, this kind of thing reminds me of the way Devin Townsend seems to play, which is very ambient on all of his parts. <laughs> This is not a walkthrough of the entire plug-in or the pedal. This is just a fanboy moment. I love this effect so, so much. Jump on and get yourself one of those from the Eventide website, add it to some recordings and have a lot of fun with it. It doesn't only work on guitar. I've seen a lot of people use it on synth, on vocal, on all different kinds of things and it works wonderfully. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. See you next time. <laughs>